All right, ladies and gentlemen, I thought it was the tartar. All right, guys, I am very grateful to the fans. You know, I don't think you could say it too much. I think being grateful to the fans is very important. I think, you know, having a fan base that values your performing, you know, I think you guys are very, very nice. Now, the thing that I love about you guys, which is so funny, but the thing I love about my fans is that they always say I look so good. Now, I know, you know, there's some people that are just like, well, how is that useful, you know? Are you a good singer? Are you a good actor? Are you doing this well? Are you doing this well? You know, and for me, I already have beliefs in myself that I'm a good actor, that I'm a good motivational speaker, that I'm a good singer and dancer. I already believe that in myself. So I don't need people to just say to me over and over again that I'm a good singer, good actor, all that. I like it when people constantly say I look good. I think there's no harm in that. I think it really helps people to feel good about themselves. And I try to inform people, you know, if you're saying that I look good, I want you to feel like you look good. I want you to take that to the highest hilt. And I want you to feel like that compliment means something, you know? And you know what, guys? There are people that might be asking me out on dates. I am in an open relationship. I do look for dates. I, I, I do get hit on. So, and I look so good. People are saying I look good, so I do get hit on. But if I've ever said no to you or I ever said I wasn't interested, that does not mean you can't find someone like me that does not mean you can't be with someone like me because we, we as people have different tastes. There are people that are my beauty standard level that like people that are maybe, you know, overweight women or maybe they like thin black men or they like, you know, indigenous people or they like, or they like Europeans or they like muscle, muscle Europeans like I do or they like female fitness girls like I do or they like transgender people or they like you know there's all kinds of people that you know people that are the beauty center like all kinds of people so don't think that you are just going to forever be stuck single because i said no right that's not the intention i want for you to feel that's not the intention i have a certain taste of what i like and that's what every good looking person has you know every good looking person has a certain taste of what they like so you have to respect it and you also can go for someone just like me that has the taste that likes you. Anyway, I really feel very glad that people are hitting on me and saying nice things. Now, please hit on me and send me an email, mdicurzio at hotmail.com, M-D-I-C-U-R-Z-I-O at hotmail.com. Send me a message on there with videos and pictures so I know what you look like and that I know what you're looking for. Just have a little write up there. If you want to collaborate on my YouTube or TikTok or other platforms, let me know. Uh, I really think, you know, that I, I really deserve the best in life. And I really strive to make sure people, people know my type, you know. I like beefy guys, muscular guys. And I like a taller, preferably, but not necessarily. And then I like pretty women that are thin, petite, and beautiful. Now... My wife is drop-dead gorgeous, okay? She's so gorgeous, okay? So when you're seeing me have this high standard in terms of what I look for, well, that's because I'm very, very good-looking and because that's what I like. Even if you're not good-looking and you like that, you go for that, right? Now, there's a lot of talk about people that are lonely, single men. There's a lot of single men that are lonely that are looking for the perfect girl, the perfect girl, they will not set or guy even. They will not settle or trans person or non-binary person. They will not settle. They will not. They will not budge where their where their tastes are concerned. Now, some people are having the nerve on TikTok to say that you can't have that standard because if you are looking at yourself, you're not going to be that standard. So why would you want that standard? I, on the other hand, think that. Life is good when you're single or well, maybe you're in an open relationship, but you're, you're not attached to someone that's bad for you. I don't think you should choose someone because they're there. 
I don't think you should choose someone like just because they're there. I don't think you should choose someone just because you are running out of options and you feel you have to have this person because the person you like, that person just said you're too average for that person. I do not think you should feel that way, you know? And it's, I think, you know, even if you're looking for a long time, I think it's better to look for someone for a long time than to settle for someone that you never wanted in the first place, uh, that you never would have picked. You know, and some people, I mean, if you're, if you're a woman and your biological clock is ticking, maybe you want to settle for someone so that you could have a family. You know, that, don't get me wrong. I think to some extent you might have to settle at some point because you've been looking and you you need to have a baby and you want to have a baby. So that makes sense, right? But in general, if you're a gay or bi guy or you're a gay or bi girl, then you might, and you're looking for guys or girls uh, respectively, then you might want to, um, you might want to um, wait for someone that is um, your type. Now, you know, I do believe there's truth to that to some extent. Some people cannot wait. They do, want, do not want to be single. They do not want to be alone. So if you are that person, you know, some people don't mind. If they, if they don't mind being alone, I like doing things alone. I mean, I have a wife that's overseas, so I don't see her, but we see each other on camera. And then I'm in an open relationship. So I, I, can, I don't mind how long it takes me to find other people. I don't mind how long it's going to take. I mean, I do want it to hurry, but I don't mind. Um, but, um, you know, like some people have a big rush. You know, I like to do things alone. I don't think there's anything wrong with doing things alone. I think, I think if you go, even if, if you go to a movie alone, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think people will tend to pick on you more, for sure, and see that you're alone and be like, oh, they're desperate, whatever. But that's what people say if they're not happy, you know? Or that's what people say if they don't understand your situation. I'd rather be me, sitting alone, waiting for the perfect guy or girl to date, even though I have a wife, but I'm in an open marriage, uh, waiting for the perfect guy or girl to date, than to be someone that is like, I have to have a friend there, regardless of who they are, and, or I have to have a partner that I'm dating, and they have to be there, even if they don't, they're not my type, and I don't care if we argue, I just want someone to be there. I'd rather be alone in everything I do. I don't need to have somebody around. I don't need to feel like my, my persona is dependent on somebody being there. I don't need to have people be there on my back and call because I need someone there and I don't care who it is. I have self-esteem. I have, I have confidence in myself. You know, if I want company, I watch my videos. I'm pretty good company to myself, darling. Um, no, I'm serious though, guys. Like, if you watch my videos or people's videos in general, you know, or you do something, you know, maybe you're an engineer or maybe you're uh, an accountant. Or maybe you like to do puzzles, or maybe, maybe you do whatever, right? So if you have things, or maybe you like video games. If you have things to do, then what's the big deal if you're alone, right? You can do these things. You don't need to have that person that maybe would drag you down there. You know, I'd rather be alone and single. Well, I'm not single, but I'm in an open marriage. But I'd rather be single and by myself than be with someone that I don't want to date. You know what I mean? Like... I think in our culture today, there's a lot of people that would just rather have someone, and they don't mind. Some people really don't mind. You know, if you if you're that person that's like, I'd rather have someone there than not. I don't care who it is. Sometimes I'm gonna pick someone. Then go ahead. If that's what you like, fine. You know, enjoy it. But I think when it comes down, and then and they're saying there's many single, lonely men. You know, because women won't put up with men's, you know what, their horrible behaviors, and with and men are too picky. You know, so I think, you know, in general, we all live in a society where um, we may not like how things are and we want better for ourselves. There's nothing wrong with that, right? If you are someone that's going for better, doing something more, trying to strive for more, there's nothing wrong with that. But some people do not like to be alone for long periods, do not feel comfortable being in a room by themselves, in a crowded room, doing something entertaining, you know? I can go to a restaurant by myself. I can watch a movie. By, I actually watch a movie by myself. I can, you know, you go to the theater, you watch a movie. People are like, why is he by himself? I don't care what people say, why are you by yourself? I don't mind. I don't really give a crap. You know, it doesn't bother me, right? 
I can do whatever by myself. And I know people are like, well, you're married, you have a gorgeous wife. Yes, but she's overseas and it still gets lonely, but, uh, but you know, it's all like, and even if I didn't have her, I would still feel the same, you know, I would still feel like I'm fine going alone, I'm fine doing these things. I don't need company from someone that isn't going to help me, or that's a waste of time, or is overly clingy, or won't, won't, won't let me be successful. I don't need that, right? I'm, I'm very driven. I like to be my own person. I like to be my own boss. So I like to do what I have to do, dog. Bye, dog. Bye, everyone.